Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video I'm going to be testing out this new wheel cleaner from Autoglim. This is the advanced wheel cleaner which is new for 2024 and you may have seen other videos on YouTube of this product but you'd only seen it in a 2.5 litre bottle and I'm going to be testing that in the 1 litre bottle and I'm going to go a little bit more detail why I've only received this bottle, what the price of this bottle is, I'm going to give you my thoughts on this product and I'm going to see if I think it's better than the built hamber auto wheel. So all that's going to come up in this video today plus more. So let's get out, let's clean the alloys and let's see how well this product works. So we have got some really, really dirty wheels to test this on now. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray on this one as a, as a dry because what it says on the instructions as we read it, it says to use it on a dry wheel. Now, normally my process of cleaning the wheel is a little bit different to that. I like to use a pre sort of wash or something like a TFR citrus or something like that to clean the wheel. And then I'd go in with a wheel cleaner, but this is saying to go onto a dry wheel. So what I'm gonna do, on this wheel I'm gonna test it as on a dry wheel. And then on the other wheel, I'm gonna do it in my process that I'd clean a wheel. So let's get on with it. So what it says on the bottle is to work from bottom to top. So I'm gonna just start from the bottom. And as you can see, it's like a thick sort of gel type product. You wanna try and get minimize getting it on the brake on the brakes as much as you can. It's mainly just want to get it on the alloy so it could do the job on the alloy. Now the first thing I'll say about the spray bottle, it's probably not the best. The trigger is a little bit, you can see it just comes out in a straight line. You have to sort of press it quite hard to get that spray out. So that's obviously when you put it, you get the 2.5 litre one and you get their sort of pump sprayer, which is like the IK Pro sprayers, it's going to give a bit more of a mist, which probably would be better. But straight away you can see this product is really clinging onto the actual alloy it's not dropping off you can see down here it's not really falling off the wheel it's, it's sort of staying on there and that's giving it that time to actually work on the wheel and you can see these wheels are really changing color now i'll try and just cover the whole wheel just make sure we haven't missed any so i'm going to leave that to sit for about two to four minutes it says and we'll come back to this wheel So I've let that sit for about four minutes now and you can see you get sort of minimal drip onto your actual driveway or pavement it sort of lingers around on the car so that's really really key to clean this car and you can see the color change on these I mean it's really really gone purple so what I'm going to do for this one is I'm just going to jet wash this off I'm going to do a test on it to see how much dirt's been removed just by pre-washing without even agitating the project I just want to see how it actually cleans the car, so I'm not even going to agitate it at all. I just want to see how well this actually performs. So let's rinse it off. bring you close in to see this because these results are absolutely amazing now I've only just pressure washed that off put the product on there I haven't even touched it with a brush and these have been deep cleaned I mean like this is these are like nearly spotless I mean I've got a pad here but there's a little bit of dirt left you expect that but, you know that's that's look at that that's pretty impressive come on that's got to be impressed with that so what I'm going to show you with this wheel is how I would clean it normally. So obviously with the other wheel we didn't agitate it at all. We just threw the product on dry wheel and it worked, I mean it worked really well. And obviously it says in the bottle to do it this way. So you could do it as, spray it on as a pre sort of wash. I don't like to touch your alloys with dirt on them because you can mark them like these black bits you can mark. If you've got gloss black wheels you don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is just show you a way of doing it as I would do it. So I'd pre-wash the wheel then use the product. So I'm going to do that, I'm going to show you that way. So let's get this wheel cleaned on this side.
so I don't know if you can see that but there's still like, obviously dirt here you can see there's a lot of dirt still so even that you put the pre wash product it doesn't remove as much dirt as it did on the other side when you use that product but this was the pre-wash so then what I do next is i would get my product it does say spray from bottom but you know it doesn't matter too much and I'll just spray the product over the wheel the best you can now like I was saying before I'm not really happy with this trigger on this don't think it's the best for this product you want it to sort of be a mist more but yeah it still comes out good and um, as you can see we're on the wheel now and then what I would do is get my um, snow foam so in this snow foam we've got um, just the, the built handbar auto foam in this one so I'll just top it with that and this you know once you've done that you can do in the arches as well if you would like use the product everywhere So then what this does, this, this actually gives the product more time to dwell on there um, and it just gives it a bigger cleaning so you're getting inside all there as well and there's a little bit of mist there so you just sort of go in there make sure you get all around the wheel So then what you can do while that's sort of dwelling on the actual alloy you can just clean your actual tyres with the snow foam on the actual the actual tyre of the car so that just sort of gives that a good clean or you're still letting that product do the work then you could go in and do your arches as well like so you know while that's still dwelling so you've got you've got time to go around the vehicle while you're doing that then i'd get your actual rim brush and just go into the actual rims of the alloy and work your way in and you can see all the dirt pouring out now but as you're agitating the product you can see it working Now, you can't really see if this product's foam up or if it's actually the snow foam that's foam up. So what I'm going to do after, I'm going to spray it on again and then just show you what it works like when you are just using the agitating the product. So I'll do that after once I clean this wheel, just to give you an idea what it looks like. Once you've done that, you can get your what, like your mitt of choice that you use for your rims, just to go over the actual surfaces of the alloy. You could use a detail brush for this stage, you can use um, different types of mitts, you could use the brush that I use on the tyres really super soft for alloys, you can use that. Just going in and getting the rest of the dirt off. A bit more OCD, you can go into the actual lug nuts of the car, the wheel nuts, you can just give them a little bit of a clean around. You know, there's a, you can do whatever you like to your wheel. But as you would have seen, you could have just left the product off and washed it off. If, you, if that's what you're happy with, just a wheel that looks clean, spray this product on, wash it off, and there you go. You've got a wheel that actually looks decent for most people. You know, if you want to go a little bit more than that, you can do this. So all that's left to do is now rinse the actual wheel off. There we have it a really super clean wheel now obviously you've gone a little bit more deeper clean and as you can see you know there's not going to be any dirt on these ones because they've been like proper cleaned agitated but you know i would say the product worked really well without even agitation so i was quite impressed with that so let me just go on to the back wheel i'm just going to show you how the product looks when it's being foamed up I'll show you on this wheel is just to show you just a little area i'm just going to spray this section of the wheel let that dwell for a little while. So I've only left that dwell for like about a minute. But I just want to show you, as you work in the product, you can see it actually foams up really well. It's really, really nice when you actually agitate it with a brush. And look at that, it just removes the dirt off so easy as you're just agitating it like that. It foams up really nice. So yeah, really, really impressed with that as well. You know, the product's got a really good all-round capability it can do a lot of things you could just use it as a pre pre sort of wash product to remove all the dirt you could agitate it on its own you could use it with a snow foam you know it could be used in many different ways and i've just shown you a few ways that you could use this product so my final thoughts on the product then so the will well i'm really impressed with it like i didn't actually think it'd be as good as it was 
So it cleaned the wheel as you'd have seen the video without even agitating it, it took all that dirt off and I think it done a really good job. So really impressed with that, how well it got on that ingrained dirt. This car had been washed for about four months, so did a really good job at just removing that brake dust and all that dirt from the actual alloy. Price wise, this is for one litre is 1995, I think it was on the Auto Glim website, which you know is quite expensive. It's a one litre bottle. In comparison, you can get the Auto Wheel from Built Hamber for around that's 15, 16 pounds for the same size. Um, they also have you know another wheel cleaner, Auto Glim, which is the wheel cleaner. I have used it before. It's not as good as this one, but it's not a bad, bad product and you can get that for about £10 or under sometimes so pretty good value so when you're talking about this product it's quite at the higher end now if you buy the 2.5 litre bottle then it's about £29.99 I think so just under 30 and that works out actually cheaper per usage so you're getting more for your money but then you'd need to invest in a pump sprayer or you know have one available to use like some kind of trigger so you could buy one or whatever or have a bottle that you have available that you can top that up so you could do it that way but obviously the most people are going to go and buy the one litre bottle because it's just convenience how do i compare this with the built hand um, auto wheel well i'd say it's on par i don't know if it's any better and i don't know if built hand is any better i've used both and i always said that the built hand auto wheel was my best wheel cleaner and most people will agree with that. But this is pretty much on par or close as you're gonna to get to a wheel cleaner as that sort of level. So you have seen many videos on YouTube as I mentioned at the start and you'd have noticed that I've only received the one litre bottle and that's because I actually received this from the research team. I've been working with the research team. They've been coming to my house, watching my wash process, seeing what products I use, me talking about them products and what I'd like to see. So part of that research that I did with them actually gave them the ideas for this wheel cleaner and the ceramic um, wash shampoo that I will be using in a future video, so you'll see that coming up soon. But yeah, so it was really like nice of Water Glim to reach out and off, obviously watch my process of watching and go through the process. I've done it a couple of times with them and I'm also doing research for other products with them, doing testing and stuff like that. So it's really great that I'm part of that work with Auto Glim. So this is not to promote Auto Glim at all because it's an unbiased opinion on it. Obviously I've been sent these products for free and I could say they're amazing but as you'd have seen in the video it's quite clear that they were pretty amazing and you'd have seen how well they worked. So there's no trickery here, it is what you're seeing um, and yeah I'm really impressed with it and I definitely would recommend this wheel cleaner. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and it's gave you an insight into this new product for 2024 and be sure to watch the next one which will be the ceramic shampoo one coming soon and I'll talk to you a little bit more detail into that product. So thanks for watching, take care guys.